Okay, so here I am in Blender and let me pull up the graph editor. So I'm gonna select the top corner icon here, switch to graph editor and I'll select my cube. Let's say I wanna open up my properties here and I wanna grab the Z location. So I select this to see, okay, which one's the Z? And I can't quite tell, I've picked the Z location. So let's say I'll, I'll grab here and I'll try and click it. But you see when I click, it actually selects the X location. Grab it again and oh wait, now I'm on the Z. It's just painful. And when you've got thousands of keyframes and tons of objects, it's gonna be just such a pain to work with. So let me show you how to clear it up. First thing you wanna do is come right up here to File. We're gonna go Edit, Preferences, and what I like to do is go to the animation tab and take the unselected opacity and just drag that right down. What this does is it dims all the channels that aren't selected. So it just makes it a little easier to see what you've got picked and what, what you don't have picked. So now you can see if I select this one here, it's really bright, but all these are dim. So the next thing you wanna do is go right over here to the view menu in your graph editor and just go right down here to only selected curve keyframes. Turn that on. Okay, now what happens is when we come over here and click, you can see every time I click, I'm getting the same thing. It's staying with the Y Euler rotation. So if I select the channel over here in the list, that's gonna be the only thing I can grab. So I'm no longer running into this problem where I'm grabbing a bunch of stuff. And this is just so much easier because you can get really specific. You can say, all right, I just wanna mess with my Z rotation, let's say, so I'll grab that. Now it's highlighted, it's really visually clear that this is what I have picked. I can box select it and I know it's the only keyframe I'm gonna grab. I'm not gonna grab any of these others. And now I can move it around and it's just, just so much easier to use now. You can see these are still down here where I left them. So those two settings right there will literally change your life in Blender when you're animating. So I'd recommend you go change them right now, save your preferences and don't forget about them. Hope you found this helpful video worth your time. Thanks for watching it. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see all the other stuff as it comes out and get notified. Ring the bell to get those notifications. And please go consider checking out the Patreon. Join the others there that are supporting the work that I'm doing here on YouTube. You can also join on YouTube by becoming a channel member. Check all those things out. There's tons of great features and stuff for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye.